Now, I'll do a disclaimer before we get uh, too far into it. Obviously, my voice is a bit rough. It's all that coughing. I'm fine. It's just my voice. Um, they didn't even want me talking at work today, which was, you know, interesting. Anyway, there are lots of people in the family who think that this is hilarious. It's probably a bit of karma, though, because my daughter had this last week and... I may have made a joke or two, you know, about her talking for 26 years and it was about time there was some peace and quiet. Hmm, oh well, not to worry. Anyway, welcome, welcome back. Welcome back to the Hay Meadow, my name's Hayley. And uh, if you're joining me again, thank you for coming back. It's been a whirlwind. If you're new, welcome, it's good to have you here. Um, today, we'll be looking at the Think Pink Soscription box number seven. So this is the Beyond the Pink Door Think Pink Soscription box. Now, I'm pretty sure that we're breaking some records here because normally I would be one of the last people to get it because it's coming from Ireland in the UK. So normally it takes a little bit longer to get here, but I think I'm actually one of the first. Anyway, this isn't going to be too long a video because, you know, at some stage, this is just going to cut out altogether. Um, but first of all, what am I wearing? Well, I'm actually wearing another Ellie and Mac um, Fall in Love sweater. And again, this is fabric from um, Andrea and Keris at Beyond the Pink Door. So this was, you, I, you may recall that I said that I... Um, bought some remnants as my first foray into buying from Beyond the Pink Door. This was one of the other ones. Now, the beauty of the Ellie and Mac Fall in Love sweater is that I can get a sweater for me out of 1.5 metres. So it was, it was perfect. So again, this is out of 1.5 metres. This is a soft sweats fabric and it's in um, Simply Flowers and it's beautiful, it's lovely and cosy. It's perfect um, here in Australia for just a general um, jumper. Um, just got a bra on underneath, just keep that between us. Everyone doesn't need to know that. Um, you probably didn't even want to know that, there you go. Uh, but for here, it's, it's perfect. It's nice and light, so it's not, um, you don't feel overly hot in it, which, which I really like. Anyway, that's enough about that. Let's get into the exciting bit. Now, I'll show you my package. That was a bit rude. You know what that means. That means I bought extra fabric. That's not really a surprise. That's pretty normal. Now I have actually started the opening process because this is very well wrapped, but I'll just continue talking while I do the last little bit. And I will show you the, um, the extra fabric that I bought first. We'll save the good stuff for last. Oh, I don't wanna. Oh, oh, I forgot I got that one. Oh, that's awesome. As always, pink tissue paper. Oh, I bet you can't tell what's in there. Okay, now I can't remember what lengths I got. However, have a look at this jersey. Look at that. That is absolutely gorgeous. So, We've got summer coming up here in uh, Australia, so I wanted to get a start on making some t-shirts, some nice t-shirts. Um, so I'll be rocking this come summertime. Not sure which pattern yet. I'm gonna make, um, I'm gonna make a variety of t-shirts. Um, I wanna get rid of all of the uh, ready to wear ones that I've got and actually make ones that I want to wear instead of just the same old, same old. But yeah, so that's lovely. So I would say, I'm, I reckon I've probably got 1.5 metres. That's usually well and good enough. 
well, maybe two. Maybe I got two meters. And as absolutely gorgeous as that is, wait until you see the next one. Now this is a viscose, and this is divine. So when I um, first video that I did, the first uh, box six that I did for Beyond the Pink Door, um, I had the uh, orange like rust and blue leaves on a white background, viscose in four meters. So. When I was purchasing that one, it was a toss up between two. And this is the other one because I couldn't help myself. Look at that. That is just so gorgeous. Absolutely beautiful. Oh, look at the drake on that. That's just gonna be stunning. No idea what I'm making. None whatsoever. However, there's enough here. Again, I can't remember. I forgot I'd even gotten this one. I knew I had the stripe. Forgot about this one. Some extra other stuff in there too, I reckon. Oh, that's gorgeous. Um, what was this one called? I can't remember. Sorry about that. If I remember, I'll put... Um, <laughs> I'll see if I can graduate to putting text along the bottom because you know I've worked out the, um, the pictures so let's see if we can graduate to text so I'll pop that over there oh that's so beautiful okay oh you're probably wondering who my friend is here she doesn't have a name but you know she kind of hangs out with me often um, and she likes to give things that I make a try before I do. So you'll probably recognise the fabric, in fact. So this is the viscose from the subscription box six. And you may recall that I talked about a fringe dress. Guess what that is? A fringe dress. So this is, it turned out beautiful. Now it's not hemmed yet and I haven't pressed the waist seam. You know? Oh, we'll get there. Um, and this is view A. So I actually used, now you'll recall that there were covered or there was covered buttons, uh, a pack to do covered buttons. First foray into covered buttons. <laughs> Hopefully they last. They were really difficult. So these were the 11 millimeter size ones. And trying to get the fabric in there on those little teeth oh my goodness that was really difficult i ended up googling or you know on youtube looking for a video on how to do covered buttons and learned that you can stitch around and then sort of pull it a bit like a little purse and um, do it that way so that's what i ended up doing i'm not sure they're gonna last but um you can barely see them so anyway back to the dress so this is the fringe dress by Chalk and Notch. Um, I've done view A with the button front. Um, I've already done one of the view Bs. That was the one I tried last year. I did that in a Japanese cotton. Um, and that's lovely. I really like that one. So I've actually used view B um, sleeves because view A, again, I'm going to put little pictures in. View A has the little turn up tab. I've never really been a fan of those. I don't know why, I just, I prefer a normal sleeve. So I've put the View B um, sleeves on. Um, and of course, you know, what is a good dress without not just one pocket, two, two pockets. Um, and I also level off the hem. So this actually does have, um, as Andrea would call it, a dippy hem. Uh, so the front and the back are dipped and then the sides are higher. Um, I'll just, my daughter is trying to call me. Doesn't she know that I'm a famous YouTube influencer now? Anyway, surely she needs to book or something. Um, so I've leveled off the hem because I prefer just a straight hem. I don't actually, I, that's a lie. I like a high-low hem, a gentle high-low hem. Anyway, that's enough of that. 
you're really here for this box here. So let's get into that one. A little bit of rustling. Oh, there's a plane for in the background while we're uh, rustling. Open me, pretty things await inside. Me reading the. what the fabric is as in what the description of it is so it's 2.5 meters i'll put that there now as usual we get our little description card it's upside down because i'm right-handed and anyway a um, little description card now i believe i believe this big one here is actually the other things that i bought with the other fabric and yes it is so now I did mention um, in the last video that um, about the Mariflex or one of them, one of the videos um, about the Goodman Mariflex stretch thread and that, you know, I'd basically just be adding one each time and that's exactly what I've done. So I've got a nice red now. So that's, um, I think I've now got navy, black, white and red. I might not have navy. No, I have got navy. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Um, so there's another one to add to my collection. Now, in saying that, um, one of the lovely commenters only today let me know that um, you can actually get Gutterman Mariflex from... Oh, I didn't write this down, so I hope I don't stuff it up. Possibly MJ Embroidery. I think that's what they are. If I'll put it, if I can work that out, I'll put it somewhere. Um, but that's excellent. So to know that there's a supplier in Australia as well. As well. Now, the other things in here. Now, Andrea recently, um, in one of the other boxes that we had, um, there was some other um, striped t-shirting fabric, which is absolutely gorgeous. I haven't made that yet. Um the ribbing that we got with that was either traditional tubular ribbing, which you then cut to size, or she actually had this stretch bias binding. Now, because I like to make sure that I've got things, you know, a bit early, I made sure that I had some thrown in. So... We've got red, blue, and two whites. So there's a like a creamy type of white, and then there's a more of a bright white. Always good to have in the stash. You can never go wrong with those. Okay, back to the uh, main broadcast. Oh, oh, I did get navy for Mariflex thread. I should probably check my invoices before coming on so that I know what to expect. Anyway. Okay, I promise. I absolutely promise that now we are actually at the box. I'll, I'll look, I'll show you. There we are. Everything is in. Covered up. There's a little sticker. See? I promise. This was going to be a short video, remember? Oh, wow, cool. Oh. <laughs> <coughs> oh, these are one of my favourite. You'll see in a minute. Okay, so Think Pink Soscription Box 7. Now, I'm not going to show you the front of the card because that'll give away the other colourways. And if I hold it up close enough, it'll probably show you what the fabric is as well. So on the back, we have... Asking a seamstress to mend is like asking Michelangelo to paint your garage. Yeah. Actually, it's funny. Like, I'm barely a beginner. Um, however, I've had people ask me to alter, you know, well, what I would consider intricate dresses and all sorts of stuff. I was like, oh. Anyway. 
Okay, so let's get into here. Let's start with the edibles, and this makes me smile because I don't know about you, but I love a curly whirly. I love curly whirlies, and I know Andrea loves curly whirlies too. Yum. I am definitely hiding that and enjoying that on my own. Now, what have we all? Oh, so we've got. Oh, ooh. oh here's our handmade gift. Oh, so my nose is still not really working very well, but I can kind of smell something. However, I know for a fact that this came out, or one of these came out with the initial, the very first Think Pink subscription box, which I missed out on. I wasn't the fastest finger first on that night or the subsequent night. In fact, I think box three may have been the first box that I got. So, so this is the Dolly Tub Hand Salve. Now these again um, are locally sourced, I believe. Oh, that is divine. Rosehip, lavender, sweet fennel and rosemary. Really? I wouldn't have thought that. Perhaps my nose is worse than I thought. Because that's got a real um, citrusy smell. Goodness me. I'm probably going to be coming back at another video saying, you know what, totally didn't smell like citrus at all. But anyway, I'm really looking forward to that. When this first came out, everyone was just absolutely frothing at the mouth over this stuff. Oh, that's lovely, isn't it? Oh, I can smell the, yeah, I can smell the, ro the, the, not the, rose, the um, rosemary now. Mm. Oh, and we've got some uh, machine needles, some six-piece machine needles, and they're the variety size and universals. They never go, they never go amiss, do they? Now, this, <laughs> this is really cute. So the next little, this is a little crafting gift. So this is make your own donut. How cool is that? It's a felt donut. So I, I've never tried any of these types of things. Um, so I'm really looking forward to that. Um, in fact, last year, I'm not sure if it was during um, Vlogmas, but um, one of the other YouTubers was um, making some felt things and it's like, oh, they look really cool. So I'm really going to enjoy those. It's going to be cool. Okay, it's here. It's time. Now, this is going to throw you. So here's my thread. So this is uh, like an off-whitey cream thread by the look. It's not a bright white, but of course it's a Goodman, Goodman thread. And now next up, actually, I'll show you the card. So it looks like there are two colorways um, in this particular this particular um, fabric. So now you may recall that I said I was all about the navy. So my fabric is blue. Now this is a gorgeous seersucker. Oh, that's lovely. And I believe it is a cotton seersucker. Now, 20, hang on, 29 years ago, my grandmother made me a um, summer weight dressing gown in a cotton seersucker. I still have that. It's You wouldn't even know that it was almost 30 years old. Um, and it's beautiful. However, one of the things I thought I might do when I started my sewing journey, because everything's a journey these days, was to, to make a new, a new one, but a longer one. So I went looking for seersucker. So I went to Spotlight, as you do. Uh, when you don't know your left from your right, you go where you know. Um, and was looking for seersucker, and I found some lovely seersuckers, and then I realised they were all polyester. 
Well, that's not going to be cool in summer, is it? And all of the cotton ones were just all a plain stripe, which is fine. Love a stripe. However, I wanted something a bit different, a bit nice. And what do you know? Suddenly, I have 2.5 metres of gorgeous blue floral. Oh, they're roses. So they look like... Well, I'm not sure. It could be like roses and violets. Roses, violets, and possibly like a daisy. But yeah, that's just gorgeous. Absolutely lovely. Oh. So I could, I could make my, um, oh goodness, um, my short dressing gown in this, or it's it's too it's too lovely to keep hidden away. Really, that's beautiful. Perhaps a nice blouse would be better. Hmm, 2.5 metres, that's enough for a dress for some. For me, I can get a dress out of that. That's lovely. So there we are. We've done it again. And it's only marginally shorter than the other ones. And my voice has actually kept up. I did, I may have had a big drink and, you know, yeah, anyway, you don't need to know all that. Um... So yeah, we've made it through to the end. That's fabulous. I hope you've enjoyed my uh, my fabric unboxing. Not only my box, but my extra fabric here. Stroking with this guy, it's got so nice. Actually, they're both beautiful. That's got such a lovely texture to it. Looking forward to that. Anyway, I shall uh, sign off now and um, thank you once again. And, um, See you next time. Bye.